Hello, I'm Jonathan Boshin, and welcome to another FCAT South County Spotlight. In this edition, I have two stories for you pertaining to our South County communities. A special presentation was held during the Deerfield Select Board meeting on the evening of February 21st, 2024, in which the Deerfield 350th Committee and the Friends of Deerfield presented the town a special plaque. Alex would like to present to Carolyn and the rest of us kind of join around uh, the plaque that we had, uh, Friends of Deerfield had made to go with the ceramic tile mural. Oh, good. Oh, so we have that yeah. here and That's um, it'll yeah. soon go up. This plaque was created to accompany the town's 350th ceramic mural, which was commissioned by the town and created by Judith Inglese. The plaque will be installed at a later date. In addition to the plaque, Alex Hirschenrender, the president of the Friends of Deerfield, gave an update on the proposed location and upcoming burial of the Deerfield 350th time capsule. We are working on trying to come up with a, a good date um, to end location to, to um, set the time capsule on the ground. Um, and we have uh, purchased and paid for um, a uh, granite bench. Um, oh, nice. And we're working on a proof that hopefully we'll get approved uh, Monday and um, we can get the ball rolling. That's um, great. We have a location, um, at least that I would like. Um, I, I think it's <laughs> yeah. shared. I think it's shared amongst us um, just uh, right outside the town hall um, on the grass space. Uh, near the um, sidewalk, so hopefully we can get some approvals going and uh, stake it right. in the ground. Um, we're thinking either um, May, sometime in May, around Founders Day, yep. or um, in June, June 8th, um, to, to, to work uh, with the rec department. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, just fest, to yeah. get a few more people here. Yeah. So, um, oh, get the kids involved. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. That'd be I, great. However, you decide to do it. I'm really supportive because I think it's a wonderful, wonderful thing to do. The upcoming burial of the Deerfield 350th time capsule will officially close a fun chapter in the history of the town. Speaking of town celebrations, the nearby town of Leverett recently celebrated its 250th anniversary. While not officially part of our FCAT community, this celebration is significant to three of our four towns. To begin with, this community was originally part of our town of Sunderland, which was officially incorporated in 1718. 56 years later, in the year 1774, Due to a variety of reasons, the community, which would become Leverett, decided to break away from the town of Sunderland and form their own town. Over the next 250 years, this small, all-American Franklin County town would grow and would become a happy home to many. In the year 2024, this 250-year legacy would be proudly celebrated in the month of March. The official 250th birthday of the town was March 5th, and birthday festivities kicked off that evening with a cake lighting of none other but the famous Westfield Roadside Cake. South County residents will recall that in 2021 and 2022, this jolly, inedible dessert was the centerpiece in Waitley's 250th celebration, and most recently in 2023, it was the centerpiece in Deerfield's 350th year-long celebration. On this March 5th, Tuesday evening, the weather was unfortunately not very pleasant, as it was cold and wet. However, this did not discourage many from the Leverett community from coming out and seeing the historic lighting of this large, inedible dessert.
As the town's birthday was on a Tuesday, a work day and school day for many, the town's birthday and celebration was held the following Saturday on March 9th. On this Saturday, a large crowd came to the center of Leverett where four different destinations consisting of the Town Hall, Leverett Congregational Church, the Leverett Museum, and the Leverett Crafts and Arts Building held a variety of different attractions, activities, and displays. The most notable destination, which played host to a number of activities and family fun throughout the day, was the Leverett Town Hall. Walking into the Town Hall, partygoers were greeted by a table which featured the Leverett 250th program. The image on the front of this program was the Leverett 250th mural, which is a ceramic mural designed and created by Judith Inglese, who also created the Deerfield 350th ceramic mural. Just like in Glacé's beautiful ceramic mural created for the town of Deerfield, this 250th mural depicts Leverett growing up and becoming the community it is today. The mural currently hangs outside at the Leverett Public Library. Going back to the Leverett Town Hall, partygoers enjoyed musical entertainment provided by local musicians throughout the day, children's activities on the second floor, and in the later hours of the celebration, birthday cake. Another destination for the celebration was the Leverett Arts and Crafts Building, which occupies a former box store and today serves as studios for local artists. During this celebration, partygoers were invited to check out the contemporary work of artists who work in Leverett. And also check out several history displays showing off artifacts and photos pertaining to the town of Leverett. More Leverett history was on display in the Leverett Family Museum, which is located in the former Bradford M. Field Memorial Library. The fourth destination of this iconic celebration was at the Leverett Congregational Church, which hosted the main attraction of the day, a two o'clock performance of the Leverett Community Chorus and Leverett Congregational Church Choir. The opening tune of this historic concert was the performance of a song entitled, O Leverett, which was written for Leverett's 200th anniversary by Dorothy Stockwell. This lovely tune was performed by Cynthia Cracker and Stephen Dido. Mm -hmm. 